Here's a typical FIRST program, which we'll go through in detail. At several points, we'll be telling you to take our word for things rather than go too deep into detail. The lines beginning with slash star and ending with star slash are a comment. You use them to let other humans know what your program does. Java ignores your comments. They're for people, not computers. In this course, I will ask you to put comments at the beginning of all your programs. The comment should tell what the program does in some detail and should have your name and the date. All Java programs must have at least one class. By convention, class names begin with a capital letter. The word public tells who can access this class and you'll learn more about that later in the course. Java uses braces to indicate a block of code, sections of code that belong together. Every opening brace must have a closing brace. Within the class, you define methods which describe the things the class does. Methods are a lot like mathematical functions. The words public, static, void are, for now, a magic spell that you need to chant to make Java happy. Main is the name of the method. Whenever the operating system runs one of your Java programs, it looks for a method with that special name and starts by executing that method. By the way, Java is case sensitive. If you were to name that method main with a capital M, the operating system wouldn't find it when it tried to run your program. The parentheses and string square bracket args are again a magic spell. For now, let's oversimplify by saying that this allows you to give information to a Java program when you run it from the command line. The body of the main method consists of two lines that both make calls to the system.out.println method. This method takes a string as its argument and prints it to the output, your screen, on a line all by itself. The ln at the end means print and give a new line. The string must be in double quotes. The semicolon at the end of the line is required. It tells Java that the statement is finished. The next line is another statement that prints another string. Again, it needs a semicolon at the end to say this is the end of the statement. These are the building blocks that you'll find in every Java program that you write in this course.